what kind of monster would I have to be that I would proposition my children, right. you know, for, 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 for financial gain? Mm -hmm. You know, that was, you know, so, and I guess in my mind, you know, mom, dad, I guess they would just, then that was almost like pimping the children. Absolutely. You probably yeah, absolutely. Have, I, I can't see, I, to me, that's a direct line. Of, you know what I'm saying? I see the parallel there. Absolutely. So, I know, I, 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 I couldn't imagine what kind of parents you would have to be. Mm -hmm. Yet, when you think about the situation with R. Kelly, mm -hmm. you know, um, it appears mm -hmm. that a lot of these underage girls' parents, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Knew that they were spending time with this adult mm -hmm. male. Mm -hmm. And you were saying some other things about... You know, uh, were you saying that they were they were rooms that they couldn't go into or something yeah, like that? Yeah, certain rooms. Um, mm -hmm. They couldn't uh, call him by his name, all, all type of stuff. But uh, what's interesting is uh, the whole Aaliyah and R. Kelly being married. Like this, this is this girl was like 14, 15 years old. And they got married. They had to have some type of parental consent. Yes. Uh huh. So you gave your daughter life away so she could be a star. Yeah. Sad. It really is sad. And unfortunately, we see it going on time and time and time Absolutely. again. You know, one of the things that, you know, I would be remiss in not saying is this is not a new thing. No. You know, with R. Kelly. I know it's it's, it's the newest thing. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's, it's the new internet sensation. Mm -hmm. But I remember Elvis Presley mm -hmm. with Priscilla Presley. I remember him, you know, interacting with her when she was about 13 years old. Mm -hmm. And I remember him moving her into his mansion, Graceland. Mm -hmm. She could have been more than about 14 or 15 years old, right. living in there with a grown man. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing with another artist back in the day, name was Jerry Lee Lewis. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? These were white males, by the way, just mm -hmm. for the record. You know, and Jerry Lee Lewis not only, uh, you know, was with a 13-year-old girl, you know what I'm saying, and married a 13-year-old girl, but the 13-year-old girl was his cousin. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you, so this kind of behavior is a continuum mm -hmm. in terms of where are the adults? Mm -hmm. Where are the people responsible? You know what I'm saying? And like you said, Jonathan, at like what point do we hold the not only the, the perpetrator mm -hmm. talking about the male involved right. in this, since deep we're talking about males, right. but what about the, the parents? parents? Yeah. I mean, should they not be held accountable equally? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because they know what's going on. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, if you don't know what's going on, then you equally, you, you, you're, you're still responsible. Yeah, absolutely. You follow me? Because it's your responsibility. Who doesn't know what a 13, 14, 15 year old child is? Right. Fairly female child. Right. You have no idea where she is. Right. So, you know, and I didn't watch the documentaries. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you watched I one. I just seen one. That's yeah. But just based off of what I hear and what I understand, mm -hmm. that, you know, these women, you know, and because they hadn't said anything about the fathers. So I don't know where the fathers were, and this ain't about the fathers anyway. This is about. Whoever the guardian was of these kids allowed, you know, this stuff to go on Absolutely. and didn't seem to have any problem with it. Right. So as that spotlight is being shot, shine on R. Kelly, that spotlight needs to be shined on them as well. Absolutely. Because as you, I'm not an apologist for R. Kelly. And I don't know if they're going to be able to, you know, reintroduce legal charges against him for that behavior. And I have no problem if they did it, as long as they're consistent with everybody else. Absolutely. Because here's the other thing I, I want to say. And this is probably going to piss some people off, but you know what? You know, that's a big boy conversation. You know what I'm saying? You pay for this ticket, you're going to hit it. <laughs> you know, and, and that is the fact that, it, you know, I'm still waiting on the documentary on Harvey Weinstein right. on Lifetime. I'm still waiting on the documentary for Jeffrey Epstein on Lifetime. Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting for the documentary on Kevin Spacey on Lifetime, mm -hmm. Bill O'Reilly on Life, Lifetime, Les Movos on Lifetime. And I can go on and on and on. Because, see, this ain't going to just be no black man lynching program here. And I know a lot of the people out there in the audience, they don't want to hear that. Let me say this. Wake you guys up. If R. Kelly was pissing on a little white girl, he'd be in jail right now. He, Yeah. Yeah, serving probably double life. <laughs> right you know now. what I'm saying? Right now. And, again, you know, let's, you know there's a saying you got to call a spade a spade. Absolutely. And, and 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 my feelings about it is that, yeah, R. Kelly is guilty mm -hmm. from what it appears. Yeah. And I don't know how he got off the first time. Yeah. And if they retry him again, I hope he doesn't get off this time. Payoff. That's what makes that's what we're talking about. The parenting. Uh-huh. So that oh, I got you. Yeah. Payoff. So he hush paid, money. He, he paid he, paid it off. He paid him hush money. Yeah.
girl went to court, said he, that wasn't me. So now we know how he got off. <laughs> you know, but this is what I'm saying is that I want to be careful. And I want all you guys in our hearing audience, you know, let's, let's be equitable, fair and equitable here. Absolutely. Let's not let this spotlight just shift to one villain mm -hmm. when they got a whole bunch of other villains. Right. Because as a man of color, I say throw his ass under the jail. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. You know, again, this is for adults. So if your child is listening, that's your fault. Mm -hmm. I say throw his behind under the jail. Right. But at the same time, I also say we need to go back. And I know some people are going to say, well, these were, you know, the, you know, uh, the Harvey Weinstein and those guys, those were adults that they were dealing with. But not in every case. Right. You follow me? Because Kevin Spacey for little Spacey boys. Were, were, were little boys. Yeah. And uh, exactly right. And, and a lot of these things are coming up, you know, with children. If you look a little bit further, you'll find out. That if these guys are, are molesting young ladies, they're probably molesting children too. Absolutely. Because a molester, that's he doesn't, he's not necessarily, they don't have that, 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 that um, I'm gonna say that 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 they that, that gauge that says, mm -hmm. okay, you know, John just old enough, so I'm gonna molest him. Nah. You know, they're predators. They're gonna take advantage of anybody. Mm -hmm. And children are easy prey. Absolutely. And all I'm saying with what my last statement is. You know, if we're going to shine the spotlight on, let's shine it on R. Kelly. Let's shine it on these delinquent parents, mm -hmm. right? Because they're delinquent because they did not do their job as for parenting, right? Or, or, or they were complicit taking money for hoeing out their daughters. Right. And then let's not forget about these other, you know, molesters out there. You follow me? And, 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 and by being so focused on R. Kelly, mm -hmm. you know, that these other ones are going under the radar. That's what I'm saying. Let's get them all. Like, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? Let's get all of them. Absolutely. Yes. So, what else, John? What else you think? Oh, that's all I got to say about the R. Kelly situation. But you were saying something about um, a little girl got shot in the head? Yeah. We're yeah, we're talking about, yeah, uh, Jasmine Burns. And I, and I talked a little bit about it on, on yesterday. And again, another parenting situation. You follow me? And, you know, the question has to be asked. You know, what was she doing out in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning? You know, now she was, it, the original story, as we all heard, you know, was that she was on her way to 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 to, to, to a convenience store, something in her yeah. neighborhood, and this white guy in a pickup truck pulled up alongside her and shot up in the car. Mm. And now we realize, we find out that it's, that's not who was arrested. Right, right. And based off of the confession of these two black men that they, they arrested, mm -hmm. and based on the fact that one of them is a Facebook friend of hers. Mm. And if you go back and look that up, you can look at this guy and see this guy is kind of gangster looking. You know, right, this guy right. looks like he like he's, you he's know, yeah, he's a thug. He, he he's selling drugs. Mm -hmm. And and the story now is, has shifted to the fact that, you know, the mother may have been out there doing a drug buy. Mm. And a, it was a drug buy going awry. Sounded like maybe she was trying to rip them off. Mm -hmm. And, you know, irresponsible bastards that they were, mm -hmm. both of them, shot in the car, knowing there were kids inside of the car. Mm -hmm. And now, again, a, a seven-year-old child, you know, is, you know, dead and, and gone right. because of irresponsible parenting again. Mm -hmm. You follow me? And, and as I stated on yesterday, you know, I'm of the opinion when something like that happens, you know, I'm sure right now they got to, you know, and I think they need to let the legal system do what it needs to do in terms of uh, taking these guys, you know, the court and, you know, and making sure uh, all their ducks are in a row and make sure they got the right mm -hmm. people here. Mm -hmm. And once they have, you know, been convicted, tried and convicted, mm -hmm. then I think they need to go back to her. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Mm -hmm. And now she needs to be tried. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. For 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 um, negligent homicide, in my opinion, mm -hmm. for poor parenting. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm going to say this to you guys, and, and some of you guys... You know, know my you know some things I've shared before. I've been very transparent about things that have happened in, in with my family mm -hmm. and my youngest sister. If you remember, uh, behind drugs, you know, allowed her six month old, my little niece, precious little niece, you know, to be to get her skull broken. Right. Because my sister was more concerned about being high and on drugs, mm -hmm. and she went to jail. My sister. For negligent homicide. Mm -hmm. I think she, I mean, she probably should have got more time. The judge said he would have given her more time, but he couldn't validate how it actually happened. So all he could go was that it was through her neglect that her daughter died, my niece. Mm -hmm. 
and she ended up serving five years in prison, full five years in prison. So, and I had no problem with that, personally. And I still don't have a problem with that today. So I'm not being biased in what I'm saying here. But I think as, as we kind of wrap it back around, whether it's, you know, this, 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 this idiot, you know, uh, on national news, you know, calling, you know, someone as, that is highly, as, as highly regarded as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., you know, a coon. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And where did he get that from? Yeah. You follow me? And, and, and he has kids, by the way, because there's an interview with him and his wife. He has two little girls, I think one in first, and one in kindergarten, and one in first grade. Mm. And surely, they must, you know, if his parents taught it to him, why would I not believe he's not going to teach it to his children? Absolutely. And I know people, maybe his parents didn't. Well, whoever taught it to him then. Right. At the end of the day, he's using those kind of, you know, racist slang terms mm -hmm. for no other reason outside of bigotry, which is passed down again from generation to generation to generation. Absolutely. So all this stuff about, you know, looking in the past and that, you know, this race thing is just something that's being made up to divide everybody. And Well, explain that. Y'all saw the video. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody explain it to me because mm -hmm. I didn't put those words in his mouth. Right. I didn't, and I, did you put them in his no. mouth, John? No. Those words came out of his mouth. Right. And it's interesting, in, in, you know, in this interview that they, and you can find it, go look it up if you, want, if you care to know. He's there to try to defend it. You know, well, you know, they, they, you know, they took it out of context. How do I take you calling Martin Luther King, Martin Luther <laughs> Coon yeah, yeah, out of take, context? You don't take that out of context. You can't. You can't. You know, it would be better if he just said, you know what? I need to go get some uh, racial, race, you know, bigot, <laughs> trailer trash. <laughs> counseling. Counseling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And cleanse my soul of my, of my wickedness. Right. Then sitting there trying to deny it. Or trying to pretend like somehow or another he's the victim. Right. You're, you're not a victim. Yeah. You're not a victim. You said it. You own it. You're an adult. Mm -hmm. And what's really scary is as a parent, that's his mindset. So what do you think he's probably teaching his little girls? The exact same thing. And that goes back to those who released R. Kelly, or lost their daughter, released their daughters to the predator, mm -hmm. R. Kelly, mm -hmm. as well as these other predators that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. It goes back to the predator of the mother of Jasmine Burns, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Who would rather risk her children's life, because she had three girls in that car, mm -hmm. to get high. Mm -hmm. You follow me? And she'd rather put their lives on the line for, you know, again, for drugs. For a quick high. For a quick high. Yeah. Than, to, than to be a responsible parent, you follow me, and protect her children. Mm -hmm. Being responsible is more challenging and being irresponsible. People, that's the easy part. Uh huh. People, yeah. people are the one big dream that they don't want to wake up to. Yeah, exactly. And again, and all these are, just think about it, there's a connection there. Poor behavior. Mm -hmm. Just poor, irresponsible behavior from individuals who, if you're not going to take care of that child, if you don't want to have a child, then, you know, mm -hmm. there's all kind of ways right. not to get yourself impregnated. Most people don't even want to have children. They're having their children for a paycheck. Whether well, it's food stamps, housing. Yeah. I know people that uh when they know that food stamps about to get cut off. Oh, I'm pregnant again. Yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> There's something special coming for them because they're talking yeah. about ending food stamps and, and, yeah. and SNAP, EBT yeah. and SNAP. Yeah. As a matter of fact, with this government shut down, you know, I think they're gonna get it for next month, but if the government doesn't do something after that, mm. it's gone. So, you know, so that that trick that that's that's that, that pony, that the horse and pony show about to end. Which Dog is good. Show. It, it is good. If you it have a good. child, you bring a child into this earth, you need to be responsible. You dang all right, you need to be responsible. And you need to train it up the right way. Exactly. Train it up. It's your responsibility to train it up. Not the school, not the government, not you know what I'm saying? Child. Not the job. Mm -hmm. That is your responsibility Absolutely. to train up your child. Absolutely. And if that child turns out to be anything other than what you put into them, I mean, if you put bad behavior in there or you're irresponsible with your behavior, you are as responsible as that child is. If that child grows up to be like, oh, you know, R. Kelly, R. Kelly or, 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 the, or the Jeremy Capel, exactly. you follow me? Exactly. Just wicked, wicked, wicked. Absolutely. Well, brother, as always, <laughs> there you have it. There you have it.